Hello NFT friends, it's Big Wise again. Uh, good evening from Sydney on a Tuesday night. Today I wanted to give you a very basic introduction into NFT marketplace aggregators. Uh, today I, I will be looking at gem.xyz, uh, which is the most popular NFT aggregator. And this is their homepage. As you can see, it says discover and buy NFTs across all marketplaces. So what an aggregator does is it's able to source the current uh, listings of NFTs from across multiple marketplaces and show them to you on the one uh, interface for easy uh, ease of use. So once you get to this homepage, if it's the very first time you've, you've visited the site, you will see this big uh, sort of like a splash screen and you just need to click on this start now button and you're greeted with uh, the trending collections for the last 24 hours and you probably recognize most of these top projects. Um, unless you are super rich, uh, you probably won't be sweeping too many of these at once. But um, what we'll do today is go through an actual sweep of the on-chain birds collection, which I've spoken about in my previous video. So... To find a collection, you have two options. In the top search bar here, you can type the name. So if I type in on-chain birds, it'll come up. But sometimes, uh, I'm not sure how um, the, the website deals with fake collections. I know that in the past, some of the fake ones have come up. Um, I'm not sure whether they handle this a bit better now. But what I recommend doing is finding the contract address for the, the real collection and then pasting it into this search box. So to do that, all you need to do is go and find the official collection that you want to sweep for. And I know, for example, that this one is, is the real one because the, the volume is, um, I've been watching it over the last week, uh, etc. Uh, so if you come to this these are little icons on the top right hand side. The first one's for Etherscan. So if you click this, the contract comes up. And then all you need to do is click on the copy to clipboard button. Then you can go back to Gem and paste it into this box. And if you wait a little while, it'll give you the same uh, on Chain Birds collection. So this is the, cor the correct collection. So now that we're in this interface, you can see that there's a mixture of listings from various marketplaces. So the icon in the top left of each NFT denotes the marketplace it's sourced from. This is OpenSea, this is uh, X2Y2, and this is Looks Rare. You can also filter them by marketplace if you want on this left-hand side. And you can also filter by uh, price range, rarity range. Just a note on this, this is the gem a rarity ranking, so not the the OpenSea one if your collection uses OpenSea, and it's also not any other uh, different third-party rarity formulas. So just just a note on that in case your collection officially uses uh, one one uh, formula or another. Uh, the properties are on the left here, and it's uh, by default sorted price low to high. Now, on the right hand side is your cart, which automatically appears once you add um, your first NFT. But until you do, you get some extra bits of useful information. Uh, this one is a real time uh, tracker, tells you at the moment by default all events, or you can filter it to recent sales, recent listings or mints. Now, one of the cool things about sweeping is that through an aggregator is that typically you save on gas and the reason why you save on gas is the aggregator has optimized code that does the shopping for you so for example on OpenSea you can't buy um, multiple items unless it's a bundle you can't put individual items into a cart 
and, and buy it at once. So what that means is on OpenSea, if I wanted to buy, let's say the, the first row here, these six, uh, seven rather, seven um, on-chain birds, I would have to individually buy them. So I'd click buy now, and then I would have to, oops, I haven't connected here, so let me just do that. So my password is password, just kidding. Um, so we'll just simulate, we won't go through with it, but let's see, click buy now. Uh, you have to skip this part um, by checking the, the box here. And you would have to go complete purchase and then confirm in your, in your MetaMask. And I would have to do that for every single um, item that I wanted to buy, which is very inefficient, right? I've just clicked it twice by accident. So what the aggregator does for you is you can add these things into your cart, which uh, is here. And by connecting your wallet to Gem, you will be able to buy all of these in a single transaction, which will come up in a moment. And I'll give you like a very simplified uh, explanation on why that happens. So if I bring up my trusty notepad, So suppose the process involved, like the steps involved in buying an NFT were add to cart, buy, right? So let's go add to cart and buy. So that's how uh, you would buy one NFT. So if, you, if I was to do that seven times, I would be repeating this action three, four, five, six, seven times. But with gem, or an aggregator, it's sort of like you're doing add to cart seven times because you have seven items. But instead of buying each time, you're, you're leaving the buy action until the end. So just by looking at like, and, and again, this is a very simplified example. Let's just look at the, the line count, right? So you've got two actions times seven is 14 actions. But with the aggregator, there's only eight actions because you add to cart seven times as you would with the other one, but you only buy once. So it's already saved uh, six lines, let's say, or six steps. So when you do a transaction on Ethereum, um, every action that you're asking the, the blockchain to do for you, a write action, not a reading, but a writing, costs gas or costs you a fee. So that the smaller the workload that you give to the blockchain, the cheaper it is. So if you're asking it to do something very, very, very complex, then it's going to cost you more. But something a lot more simpler will be cheap. So for example, if you're sending money to another wallet, if you've ever done that, then it's fairly cheap. You're looking at like the 20 to 30 cent mark at the moment. But if you're doing something like crazy like minting 50 things at once and each mint is is also uh, made up of many complex calculations then it's going to cost you a lot of money uh, i am going to do another video on explaining gas a little bit later on but for today we'll just stick to this very simplified example so if i um uh, I was going to say I'll, I'll sweep uh, these seven, but before I do that, one of the advantages of uh, using an aggregator, uh, as we've mentioned, as I've mentioned, is to save on gas costs. The other one is to save time. And the third one is you can often find uh, bargains on these other marketplaces, which you might not um, otherwise see on Open OpenSea because... Generally speaking, the other marketplaces have less number of listings, but because the the fees for the seller are much cheaper, some people exclusively stick to selling on X2Y2 or looks rare. So if you're looking to buy uh, from a collection and you're looking for like value, value for money, then at least having a look 
at an aggregator like Gem it is a good way to find, um, I was going to say the gems, but it's a bit tacky, to find good deals, right? So for example, uh, this is showing me that the cheapest ones at the moment, are, they are indeed on OpenSea, but sometimes you do find like an X2, Y2 one that's maybe um, got like a good good ranking or a good rarity trait that's not listed on OpenSea. So if I was only looking at OpenSea, I would miss that particular NFT. So I'm going to click uh, the first seven and show you what it looks like when you do make a purchase and confirm. So it tells me here that I'll be paying 0 0.033 in total. And I'll click buy now. And this is my total cost here. So this is the estimated gas fee and this is the actual price of all the NFTs added together. So I'll go and say confirm. And as long as nobody else beats me to it, uh, I should have these seven NFTs in my account. And another thing, if you have something in your cart and you, and you start seeing these numbers spinning around, that means there's somebody else trying for the same NFT. Um, so it's sort of just warning you that there's a chance that you might miss out. So MetaMask has told me that it's confirmed and I have my seven NFTs. Just one thing I forgot to mention is um, this little sweep icon you can use to sweep uh, if you don't really care about what you're buying. Like if you just want to sweep the cheapest ones, click this icon and you can go into sweep mode where you can select how many items you want to sweep. I tried to type in 20, but that didn't work. That's my num lock on. It's not. Okay. So 20 and there. It automatically selects it for you. Or you can say, I want to spend a maximum of one ETH. So get me however many NFTs one ETH, get me. One ETH can get me, which in this case is 152. Not a bad investment. So that's it for, for gem.xyz. Uh, I highly recommend it. Very good platform to, to make your life easier when you're wanting to buy multiple NFTs. Hope this has helped and uh, see you next time.